Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. My video lesson today is on dilations. Our objectives today are that you will identify a dilation and that you will dilate figures in the coordinate plane. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson. How can you tell when a dilation is a reduction or an enlargement? Let's begin by reviewing vocabulary. A transformation describes how a two-dimensional figure moves on a coordinate plane. A transformation is a change in location by sliding, turning, flipping, or changing size. So we're going to talk about changing size today, which is a dilation. A figure changes size, not shape by becoming smaller or larger about a fixed point called the center of dilation. A dilated figure increases or decreases a specific amount, the scale factor. A dilated image is always similar to the original figure. Center of dilation is a fixed point in a plane that all points are expanded or shrunk by a specific factor. The point can be inside or outside of the figure. Similar figures are two figures that have the same shape, corresponding angles will be congruent, and corresponding sides will be proportional. And our last is an image. This is the figure after transformation. The image is labeled using this apostrophe and in math is read as prime. So for example, triangle ABC transforms to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Let's begin by understanding that dilations exist in our real world. Here are a pair of eyes. During an eye exam, an, an optometrist may dilate your eyes to enlarge your pupils. So they enlarge that black pupil in your eye so that they can better examine your eye and see all the way back into your eye. So they're enlarging your pupil, or the word they use is dilate. So in math, a dilation can be an enlargement, and then we have that each letter here in the word dilation is getting bigger with respect to the center of dilation. So if we look at these lines, they form a point here and they're going the same distance and each letter is expanding. You can also have a dilation that's a reduction in size. So reduction is one where everything gets smaller, but proportionally, but still with respect to the center of dilation. So even when we get to the coordinate plane, if you take your center of dilation and draw lines out, it should hit the vertices of your figures. An enlargement has a scale factor, so a dilated image is similar to its original figure. An enlargement is increased by a scale factor that is greater than 1, understanding that if you multiply anything by 1, it gets itself, so it's not any bigger. And in the word scale factor, factor is something that you multiply something by. So here we have dilate with a scale factor of 2. So that means this triangle is going to increase in size. We're going to dilate it so it's larger than itself now, but it will be a similar figure. So all sides will increase by the same scale factor. So we're going to take our scale factor and we're going to multiply all sides by the same number. So now my new triangle is going to be 3 times 2, the corresponding side will be 6, 4 times 2, that corresponding side will be 8. So we know that corresponding sides are proportional in similar figures. 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 half. 4 over 8 simplifies to 1 half. So we have created a dilation that is an enlargement with a scale factor of 2. Scale factor can also create a smaller figure, which we call a reduction. A dilated image is always similar to its original figure. A reduction is decreased by a scale factor greater than 0 and less than 1, meaning it's going to be a decimal or a fraction. So here we're going to take this triangle and we're going to dilate it with a scale factor of 1 half. 
It means we're going to create a triangle that is similar to this triangle, but smaller. We're going to call that a reduction, a dilation that's a reduction. So we're going to multiply every side in this triangle by one half to create the image. 8 times 1 half is 4. 14 times 1 half is 7. Once again, I can check my ratios of corresponding sides. 8 over 4 is 2. 14 over 7 is 2. So there we have created a reduction that creates a similar figure because corresponding sides are proportional. We can also dilate on a coordinate plane. So I have this figure, triangle ABC, in the coordinate plane, and here's our instructions. To dilate a figure in the coordinate plane, we're going to multiply each coordinate of each vertice by the scale factor, graph the image, and label the vertices. So first thing I'm going to do is identify that my instructions here are dilate triangle ABC using a scale factor of 3. So we're going to create in this coordinate plane a larger image. We know it's going to be an enlargement because my scale factor is greater than 1. We know it's also going to be a similar figure to this green triangle ABC. So first I want to identify the vertices of triangle ABC. So A, want negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1. So negative 3, negative 1. B is negative 1, negative 1. And C, negative 1, positive 2. So now that I've identified the vertices of triangle ABC, I'm going to multiply each of these by the scale factor of 3. So each coordinate gets multiplied by the scale factor. So a prime becomes negative 9, negative 3. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Now let's do b prime. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, negative 3. And c prime, negative 1 times 3, negative 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. So now that I have done that, I'm ready to graph the image. A prime will be at negative 9, negative 3, B prime, negative 3, negative 3, and C prime, negative 3, positive 6. So label my vertices, and there you have your enlarged dilation. And here, at the center of the dilation, is the origin. So if I take the origin and I extend out, my lines, if I've done it correctly, will pass through. So see this line goes through this center dilation, which is the origin, vertice A, vertice A. Center of dilation, vertice B, vertice B. Center of dilation, vertice C, vertice C. So if you've done it correctly, all vertices will line up with the center of dilation. Now it's your turn. I would like you to graph the dilation of triangle ABC using a scale factor of 2. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So again, we are going to dilate this original triangle ABC. Coordinate A, the coordinates for A is net 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 for B. And then net, um, positive 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 for C. Our scale factor is 2. So we're going to multiply each coordinate of these three vertices by 2. A prime becomes negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 4 times 2 for B prime would be 8. 2 times 2 is 4. C prime, 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Let's go and graph our image. So negative 6, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 for A prime. We're going to go over 8 and up 4 for B prime. Then over 6 and down 8 for C prime. So notice that we have an enlargement this time. Our scale factor is greater than 2. Your turn. 
I would like you to graph the dilation of triangle ABC with a scale factor of one half. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Here's our solution. So first I'm going to identify my three vertices. So I have negative 8, negative 2 for A, B is positive 2, 4, and C is negative 6, negative 4. So identifying that we're doing a reduction because my scale factor is less than 1, multiplying each vertice by 1 half. So negative 8 times 1 half is negative 4. Negative 2 times 1 half is negative 1. For B prime, 2 times 1 half is 1. 4 times 1 half is 2. And for C prime, 6 times 1 half is 3. And negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. Now let's graph our image. So our first vertice A is negative 4, negative 1. Then B is 1, 2, B prime and C prime, negative 3, negative 2. And again, you can tell that we have a reduction, and if we went from the, cent the center of dilation, our origin, and drew lines out, they would pass through both vertices, proving that we have correctly dilated our figure with a scale factor of 1 half. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon, and please have a great day.